Yes, of course, it's a beautiful Monday morning in the city of Awari, and I welcome you to the studios of the Reach 104.9 FM. Awari, 32 minutes gone past the hour of 8. And of course, at this time, you know exactly what comes your way. It's Law and Property with Prince Dr. Prince Joel Esquire. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that title, but of course, that title is very very important welcome to the studios this morning thank you beautiful morning if you and uh, morning to emo lights uh, morning to nigerians you didn't play my music this morning what, what happened apologies <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to turn me on you don't yeah. want to put me in the right room i'm so sorry but of course okay. the atmosphere is uh good it's okay you it's couldn't okay. join us last week yes i was off for duty mm. Mm. duty calls yeah, duty okay calls. so yeah. good to have you uh in the studio this wonderful uh it's wonderful Monday morning, but morning, then again, yes. you know all that has been happening with regards to security in uh, Imo State. Imo State, Nigeria. Mm. How's yeah. it been for you? Well, the same thing everywhere, and that's why we're, you know, attending to today's topic, and that's why uh, today's topic makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. uh, this morning, we will be looking at police brutality mm -hmm. and involvement in land transaction. Now, okay. if you have uh, discussing this subject matter, mm -hmm. I really want to be very very careful. Okay. Uh, the idea is to also call those in authority to do the needful, those in authority uh, to restrain uh, on how they handle some of these matters because these matters are capable of inciting um, violence, they are yeah. capable of triggering another NSAS. Yeah. You know, last week I had a bitter experience which has led to uh, the subject matter this morning. Okay. And so this morning we will be looking at police brutality involvement in land transaction hmm. the first question you ask is what is police brutality simple terms simple terms mm -hmm. is there excessive force that the police will will use in addressing matters okay, okay. is an excessive force that the police will use which will result end up resulting to a misconduct violence and it's a civil rights hmm. okay so when the police exceeds his duties, okay, and begin to exercise force on necessary deta detaining people unnecessarily, mm -hmm. matters that are supposed to be civil are now being criminalized. Okay, but uh, just a quick question because I, I knew that I, I knew you were going to say this, so I, I wanted you to just you know help us understand what are criminal matters and what are civil matters, and where exactly is the police supposed to come in? Yes, the police are limited to criminal matters. Only? Yes, criminal matters. And land matters are not criminal matters? No, no. There, there, there is an aspect that could be criminal. Okay. But when there's a land dispute, two people disagree on land matters, okay, which obviously re results from um, disagreement among the two of them. Okay. There's civil matters. But we see the police getting involved in it. I'm speaking in first hand. I mean, I have a first hand um, experience, information um, over the weekend, mm -hmm. you know, and it wasn't really good. And so this morning, we will look at it um, as we go on. Now, usually, and of course, you know the regular slogan, police is your friend. Hmm. Yes, it's really abused. Is police really our friend? That's a big question. Is, you it, know, is police really, really, really our friend? Huh. You know, the truth of the matter is that it's just a mirage. Okay? Police is really not our friend from what we see on daily basis. Well, it's definitely not all of them. They really are so Yeah, of course, we'll have good. the civilized ones, the ones that understand their duties and can actually draw restraint. Mm. Police brutality has been a serious challenge. We all have been battling it in Nigeria here. The police force have also been interested in protecting lives and property. But very often, we see the police involved in things that are not supposed to be. They abuse their powers. They often use force beyond the limit, permissible by law. Well, infringing on people's uh, fundamental human rights. Now, let's come back. Now, it's a well-known fact that when, um, when issues the borders on land, you see buying land from unauthorized persons, mm -hmm. okay? These are things that really trigger issues in land. Okay. okay, when you buy land from unauthorized vendor, unauthorized person, when you buy land that is subject of pending litigation, Okay, when you buy land without the consent of the necessary family member, these are things that really trigger disputes, okay? Mm -hmm. Buy land that is subject of government acquisition and so on. You get my point? Now, these are the things that really, really trigger disputes. Now, uh, on tenancy matters, disputes such as payment of rent, okay? Mm -hmm. Disputes such as payment of rent, carrying out some obligations containing tenancy agreements, okay. or even ejecting tenants, are bound to be causes of disputes. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Now, these are the things. Now, 
where this dispute arises, parties have the option to do what? To either settle their matters amicably or approach the court. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that point? When these issues arise, parties are at liberty to settle their matters amicably or they approach court. But we have seen situations where instead of settling their matters amicably, one decides to criminalize it by writing a petition against the other, okay? And when the police come in, the police will arrest, detain, and begin to exercise unnecessary force. But then whose fault is it? I mean, is it not the party that decided to get the police authorities involved? No, no that, that's what we're saying now. Even if, if you go to a very civilized system, okay? Um, like some, uh, very often, if you write a petition, the police will look at the petition. This can happen more at the local level. Okay. They, they will look at the petition and confirm that this petition has criminal elements. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? Now, based on that criminal element, they will invite the parties. It's not in all cases that you go and carry gun and arrest people. You get my point? And that's where the discretion of the police officer come to play here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, if the police officer understands this thing, especially with the insecurity that we have in the country today, and in Imo State in particular, that's why I'm being very careful in discussing this, okay, because with the insecurity in the state alone should guide the police officer in handling some sensitive matters that are likely to generate issues. Are you getting my point? Two people have issues bordering on land, and the other one has paid an commission the police to investigate the matter. The police, in the course of investigating the matter, begins to detain the other party, who is not even at fault. I have a practical situation that hurts my heart so much. I'm not going to mention name, but I'm just saying it is wrong. We should help to maintain peace and order in this state. Hmm. Over the week, somebody, two parties entered agreement to buy a property, to buy a land. The other made a down payment of 20 million, and say that you have access to the land. Along the line, he changed his mind and said he's not dealing again, that he wants his money back. They have even paid Omenana. It's even right to begin to ask, what is the whole essence of Omenana? When Omenana is paid, do you refund Omenana? Omenana was paid. Part payment of 20 million naira was paid. And this money was paid by an investor. And if you know the annoying thing, we come to this radio show every day and encourage investors to come into Imo State. I know how many investors I have brought in, in into Imo State who have invested in capital projects. Hmm. So, in a situation where there is a dispute and the police is invited in this dispute, the next thing you see, police decides to detain the security guard in bid of reaching the investor, investor who has executed contract agreement with you. Hmm. Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. Who has executed contract agreement? The terms are well spelled out. Mm -hmm. The investor is not in, de in default in any way. Mm -hmm. And so what happens? The, uh, the, the vendor, who is a top, a top individual in this state, like I said, I'm not going to mention him because I don't want to incite any, any violence or any, I don't want to make utterances that will look as if I'm picking on anybody. But it hurts me. We travel all over the world. If you look, I pay my money. I travel around Europe, UK, US, and I encourage people to come and invest in Imo State. And people will come with their hard-earned money to come and invest in infrastructure in Imo State. Mm -hmm. And there's a little dispute because you are top there. You decide to use the police to intimidate investors. As I speak to you, even as I yesterday, I received guests from Lagos who want to invest in Imo State. So when we receive this kind of thing, it hurts my heart. It, it, my, my heart is broken. Again, the insecurity in the state should literally... We should literally make the police to use their discretion in investigating matters. What is anti-kidnapping doing with land matter? Anti-kidnapping. A petition was forwarded and the vendor wants his money back. He decides to do a petition and the petition was referred to anti-kidnapping. And I mean anti-kidnapping department in Imo State. What has land investigation got to do with anti-kidnapping? Two parties are doing land transactions. The other party is saying no do again. Return me my money. Instead of him to call for a roundtable discussion, he decided to arrest the security man in another site, another location. The manager of the company, this investment company that is in Imo State, came to know what has happened and probably to take the security guard on bail. The police detains him. And the next thing, the police asked him to bring 300,000 for bail. And eventually he parted with 100,000 Naira. 
just to make sure that the security, just to make sure that both the security and the uh, company's representative that came for the bail of the security guy mm -hmm. not to sleep at the station. If it, it's hurting, it's painful. Okay, so uh, right about now, do you think there should be jurisdiction with regards to such cases? Or with it's to discretion. No, no, number one, when a petition comes and you look at, I mean, the police has the right to investigate anything investigatable, but it is their discretion to know when it is a civil matter. So it's yeah. not an issue. Also, right now, it, it, it's it's more about an issue of them using their discretion. Uh, where and when do you? You, you know that even complainants at times does not even help matters. So the initiator of the petition mm -hmm. has actually influenced the police. Okay, because what the police, do, of course, now he has forwarded a petition and told the police to help them to execute this job. They have used the police to do debt recovery agents. Somebody paid 20 million to you, and I'm saying it with all authority. If I have my way, I will do a press conference on this. Somebody paid 20 million naira that I want to buy your land. Land is worth in, 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 in millions. So he pays 20 million as down payment. Okay, this is life situation. And having paid 20 million, he says that he will enter the land, clear the land to check if there's any adverse claimers. Okay, now and 30 days after, he's going to pay another one. Okay, now he has not breached the agreement, but because the buyer refused to continue the transaction, according to him, his son says that he's not comfortable with the transaction, so he wants to pull out. If you want to pull out, you call the parties together. You know, instead of doing that, he now goes to another location of the investor, arrests the security guard so that he will use it to pull the investor out. So before this time, he had not called the investor to a round table. He has not called because the agreement sign has the investor's, uh, the investor's address, the investor's, uh, investor's uh, uh, details, isn't it? So he didn't contact he this did not investor, do any he just of that. went straight he to did the not police do any of that. And remember that the agreement that they even signed has the lawyer's detail who prepared the agreement. And he didn't go, he didn't to go through any of that because he's high and mighty in Imo states. Hmm. I don't want to mention So me. you're saying that uh, certain individuals uh, use the police to. To recover debt. Because when we got. When, when, when my team got to the police station, the police said that they need an account number to refund the 20 million. They need an account number to refund the 20 million. And the parties who were there said that we need to contact the company, okay, to furnish us that uh, detail so they can refund the money. But the police said, no, you must, you must give us the number now because the vendor wants to transfer the money. Hmm. He wants to transfer the 20 million on a land that they have done Omena now. It's a different discussion altogether. I so guess I, at this point we should just open the phone line. 0907000 Today we are talking about police brutality and involvement in uh, land, land, transaction. land transactions in Emo State. Calls messages 0907000 Have you had a similar experience? What exactly did you do? Did the police actually turn out to be your friend? Or were they used by the other party to actually... Uh, deprive you of your rights as a human being and as a Nigerian. Let's go ahead. Yeah, you know, so it's it, it, it so, it so touching, you know, section section 4 of the police act spells out the general duties of the Nigerian police. It's very, very clear. And it says that the police shall be employed for the prevention and what? And detection of crime. The apprehension of offenders, mm -hmm. the preservation of law and order, okay. the protection of life and property, and the due enforcement of all laws and regulations with which they are directly charged. Okay, let's take this call. Good morning. Good morning, welcome. Your name and location. Welcome. Um, I just turned in the radio now, and uh, it's very interesting uh, topic uh, you guys are talking about over there. Uh, I commend you people for that. Thank you. See, I was uh, once a victim of this kind of, uh, you know, police with no description, no thing to do. In fact, um, last uh, two months, I was a victim of this kind of a case. Why I called in was you mentioned a particular set of uh, tactical police that have uh, anti kidnapping. Where I referred someone to a person that did a, a visa to comment, a visa assistant, uh, due to the COVID 19 stuff, and uh, the visa did not get to. Due to the person uh, had an influence in police, uh, the mother is the police, 
Now they now went to enslave the people of Antique in Nazareth. Uh, they started threatening up and down what they will do or not do. I said, how can this be a case of Antique in Nazareth? So the person that did the visa, in fact, disappeared. Myself, I was not happy. I was even looking for a way to reach her. On the process, all I see that uh, the person there, as in the first thing that uh, uh, the visa is being done for, and her mother brought police at the kidnapper after me, the petition me. I uh, came to my house, you know, now tried to destroy my house when I was not uh, around. So later on, I have to report the case back to the commissioner of police, stating that uh, this is just a civil matter. What has a uh, kidnapper have to do with this? Funny enough, the same police approved this, my, my, my petition. On the process, I was asked that uh, the young man first go to a petition, that I should have to go and uh, and to see this. Hello? Okay, sir. So just as you round up, tell us, how did it go? Their apologies that do well to call us back. Well, he was just telling us his testimony about, uh, should I say, unlawful police involvement in yeah. land matters and the rest of them. But you were saying, you know, exactly what the police is yeah, supposed no, to be oh, doing. Oh, yes, I, I, I read it through. Mm -hmm. uh, they say that shall perform such um, uh, uh, military duties within and outside mm -hmm. Nigeria as may be required by them. And all that. Now, in summary, the police duty is one prevention and detention detection of crime, okay. apprehension of offenders, mm -hmm. preservation of law and order, protection of life and property, due enforcement of all laws and regulations with which they are directly charged with. Now, even we citizens are also not helping matters. In this particular state, uh, case, it's a high power, a very senior citizen in this country. If, I mean, in this state, very senior, 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 super senior citizen of this state is who did this. And I feel so bad, and that's why I don't want to mention. So, that. is it more a case of uh, abuse of power? Is it abuse of power? Because office. police go down their own, and you go go call and tell them story, to give them all kind of story. Then the police themselves will not also use their discretion. Okay, let's use that discretion and take this call. Good morning. All right, do also call us back if you can. Yes, zero nine zero seven thousand one zero four nine. That's also the number to send your WhatsApp messages to. Zero nine zero seven thousand one zero four nine. It, 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 it's so annoying, and you know when it involves investors who are coming to invest in our Imo state. Look at how the insecurity in the country. Look at the insecurity in Imo state here, and that is why I'm being very, very careful in discussing this matter. I do not intend to trigger any um, any sentiment, as it were. But this thing happened to a company that I know of that we managed to bring into Imo state. I need a commissioner of police to look into this thing. Anti-kidnapping, what do they have to do with two people trying to buy and sell land? One person sold, one mm. person sold, made payment. He does not want his more, he does not want to sell again. Eh? He does <laughs> I can I can only but imagine your pain. Good morning. Good morning, welcome. Welcome, Ugochibu. Can you speak up a bit? Hello, brother. I need to good morning. Yeah, good morning, my brother. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, this topic is a nice topic, right? So, it can happen to us today, you know. Yeah. So, then we bought the land and pay for the assets. So, finally, the people that have land close to the our own, not tell me that they want to. This is this the uh, asset is for them, and here is close the this is where the not close. So this this land is for them. Put the asset. I said no, you pay for this asset. I will show them all the receipt and every time, including the OCDA this. this. So finally he now called his son. His son came back with police. Went to a high school. Yeah. What is it now? Here is our own. Being even by land from you. You see. Finally, we now go to call the owner of the land and say the land to us. 
you know, explain to them that this asset is for us. We pay for the asset. It's for the land here, the asset. And why calling the police? When they started beating workers for nothing. Mm. Yeah? So all these things, all these things you are talking about, police is friend of big men, not poor man. That's the thing. That's the only thing. Mm. Not everything to police. Everything. Nothing. Police. 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 No, it's very rough. See? Alright, thank you so very much. He's also saying not everything should be about the police. The yes, police I'm, not also, I'm not also reading about uh, situations where there are real crime. Situations where there are real offenders, okay? Within the, yeah, that, I don't, but you see, the police should also understand that land matters are very delicate matters. And I'm really, really calling on the governor, the executive governor of Imo State, to please call these men to order. Our state already is tensed. You can imagine the insecurity in the in the state in the region, and land matter now is turning to something else. I felt so bad. If you, if not in this year alone, I know how many investors I have brought into Imo State to invest in project to invest in landed property. More of them are on queue coming. We are saying, come back and invest in Ibo land. Come back and invest in Alowiri. We are tired of investing in Lagos in Abuja. We are pulling people to come down. The police should be sensitive of these matters. What has anti-kidnapping got to do with land? Even if there are even if there are issues, okay? The police also encourages ADR. The police also encourages ADR. That Im 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 imagine where a company comes to bail the security man that was detained mm. and the uh, and, and the company uh, representative is also detained alongside and the next thing it turned to extortion. If I have my way, if I will call a press conference and ask the police to return that hundred thousand naira. Zero nine zero seven thousand one zero four nine. This is Law and Property with Dr. Prince Joel Esquire. And today we are looking at police brutality and involvement in land transactions in Emo State. We have a message on WhatsApp, and this one is from Ike Chiku from New Oweri. And he says, This is what always happens when someone has much power over the other. That. When a king collected one family land and rejected them not to bury their mother in the land, so annoying. I think he's giving an instance here. Oh, yes, yes. 0907001049. Okay, now, moving on just as we round up, Dr. Prince Joel, mm -hmm. what then would you expect from the police in clear terms? Should there actually be a unit that would handle such civil matters, or should there actually be uh, a law? or whatever passed to actually see that such uh, officers do not go out of their jurisdiction. It, it, I think it, it falls on the commissioner of police to, to send a strong signal to his team not to get involved in land matters. If parties bring issues concerning to land matter and you look at it, it shows a simple dispute. You give me money, I don't give you money, and all of that. It should encourage them to go and settle their matters. And not to get involved. And not to get involved, begin to harass and intimidate the other party. I don't have a problem with the police investigating. Anybody, like somebody said, that is usually from the people on top, okay, the mighty. And if the person who is perpetrating this is actually on top, hmm. sits right hand in hand with the governor. You know, but like I said, I don't want to mention name. I'm just asking the governor, let us make this state peaceful. Those of us who spend, if you, every day I fly down to Oweri, every week I fly down, it's my money. I know how much I spend in my own little contribution to bring development to this state. I'm not seeking for recognition. Neither am I seeking for any gratification. I am doing the little because a lot of us have been in Lagos, we've been in, in UK, and we're encouraging our people to come back home and invest. And just because there's a little, uh, 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 it is a little dispute, hmm. okay. the terms of the agreement are well spelled out. Hmm. Even when the police pick up an agreement and you look at it, it simply says it all. Why helping the other party to recover money, asking them to bring an account for them to refund money? It's bad. It's wrong. Okay, it breaks so my heart. Okay, someone has uh, an experience here on WhatsApp, and this one is Moses. And Moses is saying, I have such experience. An agent came with a buyer to buy my family land. We gave him papers to go for search after he paid 100k for Omenala and agreement was after doing search. Okay, uh, Omenala and agreement. After doing search, uh, come and make papers. All this man did was to pay in 5 million naira only. And we keep calling this man that this wasn't our agreement. Behold, we decided to make use of the money, waiting for him to balance in order to settle agents that brought him. 
and the man came that he's not interested again, that the agent pointed that my neighbor's land is involved, where there is a dwarf fence that separates both lands. Do you know I was arrested and detained to balance the money that wasn't paid to me, and the land was registered, and the papers are there. This other message, uh, that message wasn't very clear, but that is just, uh, you know, police involvement in matters that you shouldn't actually get involved in. This other one, you didn't tell us your name, but you said the rich oppress the poor, land issues are complicated, the police should stay off. So just as stay we off. round up, you know, because our time is fast spent. Yeah, let me also say this to landowners. We all need to be very careful. Okay, when you're dealing in this transaction, get a lawyer to guide you and avoid some of them. Unfortunately, the lawyer was actually involved in this. The lawyer drafted the agreement and all that. But the mighty decided to oppress the common man. It's unfortunate. An investor, for that matter. I'm just saying, let us be very careful. It hurts me. I'm, I'm, I'm bitter. If I have my way, I'll call a press conference and recover that 100,000 naira. I'm, I'm using this opportunity to reach out to the commissioner of police to please talk to his men. Matters online, let them use discretion. The, 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 the criminal part of it is there. I'm not saying the police will not be a criminal part. But let them know where to draw the line. And draw let them be line. a little bit civil. Hmm. Let them be civil. Let them be civil. Okay? I know that the police are also facing their own challenges. That's the other part I'm being careful at. The police is facing their challenges, but they should not use one particular instance and not put all their anger on it. Like what, what we saw over the weekend. You know? All right. And, uh, on that note, I'll just leave my number. Uh, very soon we should begin to correlate. I don't want to even go into any of this, if you're honest, because this is how NSA started. My oh. number is 080 mm. Reach me on Facebook, share your experience with me. Uh, on Facebook, it's Law and Property with Dr. Prince Joel. On all the social media, reach me. Please drop a comment on Facebook. And let us reduce crime. Let us reduce all these things. I mean, it is better to, to avoid it than to allow it to happen. Don't get involved in transactions that will make you uh, face police uh, brutality. Uh, let's stay safe. Let's stay safe. Let's avoid committing any crime. Even landowners who are selling. Do not just assume. Get a lawyer to guide you. Okay. You know, that's all for me. Thank you. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you so very much, Dr. Prince Joel Esquire. Remember that this program comes your way every Monday, 8.30 to 9 a.m. It's Law and Property with Prince Joel Esquire. Thank you so much for joining us. Coming